coming Sunday, throwing its doors open as it does each year till you have a squeeze at some of the music programs that are run out of the con and one of the features will be some workshops and performances with gypsy bands led by Lindsay Pollack. And Lindsay's in here this morning. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Welcome, very well. And director of the Macquarie Conservatorium, Vivian Winter. Good morning. Hi there, this is a bit of a treat. Yeah, look, we're really excited. Uh, Lindsay Pollack is our special artist in residence all of this week. And uh, he's working with uh, students and local musicians uh, every night this week and on Saturday giving them the chance to explore this, this amazing style of music, this uh, Balkan Macedonian gypsy band music. So we've got brass and wind players and our fabulous adult drum ensemble all learning and stretching their wings in what's a very exciting style of music. Uh, and then, of course, um, they'll be on show at our open day uh, playing along with all the school bands we work with, lots of other music opportunities, and they're also going to uh, take part in the Multicultural Festival Parade on Saturday. Yeah, so it's fantastic. all coming together. Um, and for our open day, um, they'll be a wonderful feature. And Lindsay is also here doing uh, Hugh Marimba workshops with two schools, Hugh Marimba being the marimba you wear. And uh, he will also give an opportunity for people to have a go at that uh, on Sunday. Plus, we have a chance for adults and teens to do a workshop on Monday night. So, a couple of music-packed days coming oh, up at the conservatorium. Gee. Now, Hugh Marimba, you've explained that, Lindsay. What exactly okay. is that? Well, most people know what a xylophone is. Yes. And a marimba is like a xylophone, usually at like larger size. You get them all different types all over the world. Mm. And about 20 or so years ago, or more than that now, um, I came up with this idea of a travelling marimba that didn't need a stand because the, the players made the stand. Right. So instead of having, um, you know, all of these tuned bars that, you know, uh, it's actually the stand that, that is tricky to travel with because yeah. that's what takes up the space. So they clip onto belts. So you have two players at each end, like one at each end rather, and yeah. one in the middle. So three people can play one instrument. There's two octaves. And so it means I can pack enough marimbas for 18 people to play in two suitcases. Why don't you just roll them up or just that's lay right. them flat? Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it also means it makes it much easier to make because they're, they're actually, you could uh, pretty much make a, a, one of those in a day. And I did a big project uh, many years ago where we um, made two and a half thousand marimba bars that, and so we had 360 metres of marimba that stretched across <laughs> the Brisbane River <laughs> for a, a big That's festival ridiculous. so as people walked you know walking to work they'd sort of have well, a people bank. didn't get to work you know because they, <laughs> they, they, they ended up on the on the the bridge leading into the mall in, in Brisbane in the CBD and, and ended up playing for hours. Wow! And what, so what what are the bars made of? They're made of. Oh, these particular ones are made of hoop pine. So it's a it, that's a sort of um, a, a local Queensland um, pine. Wood, yeah. yeah, that um, that just happens to be particularly resonant and very good for that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it, it's not unstable, just hanging off people. I mean, it, not really. It just sort of there's a little itself. bit of getting used to. There's a tendency as you concentrate on your part to walk into the get centre, closer. you know, and you get closer and closer, and <laughs> I usually try you. and, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, we've had, you know, the possibility of couples splitting up, you know, deciding who was the one who was moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a great project, and lots of schools do it as a community thing, where they actually build their own marimbas. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're sort of thinking we're going to talk to some of Dubbo's men's sheds and see if they'd like to team up with the school yeah. to actually make it, because once the school has got a set of human marimbas, uh, it's it's a really exciting thing to play, and, and kids and adults pick it up very quickly. Mm. So yeah. we'd love people to have a try of that on Sunday, but also for particularly for school teachers on Monday night, they can come in and work with Lindsay uh, on Monday night for an hour or so and have a think about whether that might be something yeah. they could do easily in their school. Wow. Yeah, so that's you know a whole other direction to the Gypsy Band, <laughs> um, and the Gypsy Band is rehearsing every night and and exploring the music you know which Lindsay has sort of. Uh, been working on for a well, very long time. How is it getting people from, from you know, a inverted commas, a normal band, into Gypsy? I mean, what do you, what, yep. how do you get them involved? Well, the, the, I guess the, the way is um, doing it in in what would not be done in Macedonia. With uh, I, Years and years ago, we're looking at 35 years ago, I spent quite a lot of time with the Gypsy community in Macedonia. I was uh, over there learning the music and... Mm. Um, and just fell in love with this sort of very raucous, energetic style of music that they use for weddings and, and parties and name days and that sort of thing. And it's basically a 10-piece sort of uh, brass band with the sort of normal instruments that we're used to, a couple of trumpets, alto sax, 
uh, usually a lot of bottom ends, like you know maybe four tubers and, and two drummers. Uh, and so the main difference is they're, they're learning by ear. So how I've made it, I guess, a little bit more approachable for Western musicians is I've, I've scored it, you know, I've charted it out. So anyone that can read music to a reasonable degree um, just needs to, to read the notes. Mm. That's the first step. Um, the, the band that you played earlier on, that's actually a community band that we only... It's, you know, I started two years ago. Uh, people from the community had never played that, that music before, but including some great musicians. And so now that's sort of gone a step further where people are learning to sort of improvise in that style and getting used to the crazy rhythms because they, they, there's a lot of what we call bent rhythms yeah. in music. So it's sort of not all in 4-4 four, four or 3-4. Four, there's 5s and 7s and 11s and You blur the lines a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah which, which is very attractive to musicians who want to, you know, explore and go in a few different directions. Yeah. So what reactions have you had from some of the musos that you've been working with this week then? Ah, uh, I think we, it's early days because we've just had two sessions, but they're all totally into it. Yeah. So, um, so I, and, and they're doing well, so today I've got to actually go and photocopy some slightly more difficult charts because I, right. <laughs> I, I, I think they're, yeah, they're, they're ready for it. They're, they're yeah. ready for it. I they're think they've been that, surprised yeah. at how good the sound is yeah. pretty well instantly you know they they've had yeah. no idea yeah. about the sound but it it sort of comes together very yeah. very quickly and uh then they sort of get into the whole feel of it pretty, yeah. pretty quickly and the added bonus is we we got uh, far more drum sort of drummers than we expected which mm -hmm. um we've got nine, nine oh, drummers. wow <laughs> so that'll be a big bottom end yeah, yeah, yeah so that's <laughs> uh, and um and and they're all already uh people who are sort of doing uh, drumming workshops through through the conservatorium, so they're all pretty keen because they're sort of at the, I guess at the beginning stage mm. of their drumming career, yeah. and just getting into that. So it's sort of interesting for them to nice. learn yeah. these new rhythms. Excellent. So they'll, they'll be performing at the Multicultural Festival as their own drum ensemble, doing more African rhythms and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very exciting for them to have a whole different sort of set of rhythms mm. to apply their hand drumming skills to. Absolutely. So, and yeah, look, we've got students, we've got staff, we've got uh, people from the Dubbo City. Band band there um, just having a go at something very different so yeah it's, it's very exciting music as you heard from that little um, track from the CD and uh, it'll be great also for our primary school bands that are performing on open day they'll be performing outside on our back veranda and the gypsy band will be performing as well so yeah. all the parents and kids are going to hear something <laughs> a little bit different to you know stadium rock which is the favourite piece <laughs> I think Stadium Rock has three notes in it. <laughs> um, uh, but that's going to be lovely too. We're actually bringing some of the primary school bands. They'll have their little individual spots and then they're going to play together. Oh, good. And uh, Steve Smith, who is the conductor of the Dubbo, uh, concert, band. concert band that just won this, their section of the state nationals, yay. He'll be conducting the Macquarie Conservatorium Brass Ensemble. So it'll be quite a brassy, windy sort of wind based start to the day. And then we move uh, the performances inside, but we have lots of free come and try sessions. So free come and try for music for preschoolers, uh, and kids up to five and six years old, uh, African drumming with Dow Freeman uh, outside, a little taste of our youth music theatre, workshop which has gone ballistic from doubled in numbers for the next show we're trying to figure out how we're going to get all these children on the stage the <laughs> rather small stage of macquarie con and now lindsay will also um have his humor embers unpacked and people can have a little try that so you know you can come by for open day listen to performances but also um try some of the yeah. things we're doing our oh, harmonica we've got greg gordon uh, having a go with a harmonica. Oh, great. So a few different sort of instruments, as well as seeing all the students that play all yep. our standard instruments and sing. Um, Excellent. So, yeah, a hands-on day, very much. And that's from 1 o'clock on Sunday. That's right. And then through to about 4 o'clock. So right. plenty for Dad to do. Yes. Plenty for Dad to do. <laughs> we want to see Dad drumming and humour rimbering. harmonica uh, Yeah, that's You right. name it. Yeah. Now, you have brought in a little sax mm -hmm. with you today. Yeah. What do you call it? So it's a soprano sax that's... Um, it's a bent one, so there's a, a lot of, well, most of the saxes are straight, so it's um, very cute looking. You it know, is people, very cute. People think it's sort of shrunk in the wash. Or <laughs> <laughs> I said to yeah. Lindsay, is that his favourite saxophone because it's small and he travels so much, or is it his favourite saxophone because yeah, it's his well, favourite? Well, a bit of both. Bit of yeah. both yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something you play fairly regularly as part of the band? Yeah, well, this is, this is, is the, uh, the it's actually the main sax that I do play, my main instrument, so, yeah. so um, when I'm playing with the Unusual Suspects or, you know, the projects, this is what I'm using. Yeah, great. So can you belt out a few notes for us this morning? Yeah, just to give you an idea, maybe in a sort of slightly sort of Macedonian gypsy style, but I'll just give you a short, short blast. All right. Thank uh -huh. 
excellent. It's, I mean, it's just got a definite rhythm and feel about it, hasn't it? Yeah. When you when you play that sort of style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you obviously enjoy it. You've you've also made lots of other. I mean, we won't go into it too much, but you've you've so many other things you've done, including sound installations, which you're becoming a bit more well known for. Yeah. What's the project you've just done overseas? Um, I've been working in Austria in a, a fantastic little museum called House of Stownens, which translated means the House of Amazement. Mm. It's basically a, um, a, a museum for experimental musical instruments. So it's, it's like this thousand-year-old house that used to be an old um, hospital mm. that's now uh, transformed into sort of just a, a wonderful um, array of different sound installations, which are all hands-on. So as people walk through the museum, they're guided through and they get to try things. So I, have um, created a particularly Australian-sounding installation in their thousand-year-old cellar uh, with 12 uh, sort of giant aluminium frogs that when you squirt them with water, it actually triggers the sounds of Australian frogs and you can play them <laughs> rhythmically and create music from these sounds. Yeah. <laughs> sounds fantastic. Yeah. Just one of the things you're involved with. Thanks so much for popping in today. I'm sure a lot of people will be uh, very keen to take part in uh, some of the um, workshops you're doing. and. Yep. And just hearing the band as well will be fantastic. So thank you. Pleasure. Good to meet you. And Vivian, good luck on Sunday. I hope it goes thank well. Thank you. And look, you know, on our website, all the different events and, and times of everything are there. So do have a look. But, uh, yeah, we're hoping people come and try their hand at a few musical things. Good on you. I'm sure it'll be a lovely day. That's the Macquarie Conservatorium Open Day, 1 o'clock on Sunday through till about 4. Get involved. Nightlife. Hi, Tony Delroy. When it comes to language...